You're so stupid. I'm not. Or so, you ruined my dad's marble. He's not going to want it with your snot all over it. Yes, I will. Just wash it off. You're going to be fine. The doctor's just going to pop that thing right out of there. How come you could do it? Well, you know, this little nose, big marble. But see, the doctor, he's going to have this, this clamp thing that's going to come up and just yank it right out. Ugh. And you are going to be fine. You just got to not worry about it, and you got to not think about it. Hello, Sammy. Show them who do you love? Who do you love? Who do you love? Support them, support them. Tell them who do you love? Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And let me know down below who do you love? There isn't a single kid who hasn't thought about pulling off the biggest prank in school. And in the movie, Max Keeble's Big Move, played by Alex Lenz, he made that possible. He won the hearts of many in playing memorable characters in the late 90s and early 2000s. But we haven't seen much of Alex these days. So if you're wondering whatever happened to this mischievous kid, don't worry, we've got you covered. Let's go. Alex David Lenz was born in Santa Barbara, California on January 3rd, 1989. His father, Dr. Daniel Lenz, was a communication professor at the University of California, and his mother, Deborah Lenz, was an attorney. Alex's parents divorced while he was still a child, and he moved in with just his mother after that. At the age of four, he told his mom that he would like to appear in television commercials, and she agreed. And Alex later appeared in a couple of commercials, including ones for McDonald's, J.C. Penney, and Oscar Mayer. In 1995, his first two minor TV roles were in The Young and the Restless and Cy Bill. Later that year, he was offered the role as Teddy in the 1995 TV movie, Vanished. He went on to play a character in one episode in Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman, Ah, Real Monsters, and Step by Step in 1996. He was offered a few small parts in the movies, The Cable Guy, The Uninvited, and One Fine Day, starred George Clooney and Michelle Pfeiffer. His performance earned him a Young Star Award. He's gonna try. Yeah, he's gonna try. I love you a million, billion, zillion. Do you love him? In 1997, he had his breakthrough role in the Home Alone franchise, which originally starred Macaulay Culkin. At the time, Macaulay refused to do the role, so the writers had to go in a new direction. So for the Home Alone 3 movie, they brought in Alex to play Alex Pruitt, a very resourceful and eight-year-old boy who defends his home against a North Korean terrorist group. The film was commercially successful, although it made $79 million in the box office when it was giving a $32 million budget, compared to the original, which which grossed 476 million worldwide. Despite the film's poor reviews, Alex's performance was praised, propelling him to prominence as a child actor. After Home Alone, Alex started doing voiceover work and in 1998, he became the voice of the character Franklin in the direct-to-video film The Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald and their sequels. And he lent his voice to Disney as a young Tarzan in the animated movie Tarzan. <laughs> Well, Turk said I could come along if I could keep up. I'll make them see it. I'll be the best. In 1999, Alex got the role in Bruno, playing a young boy genius whose expression of his own individuality leads his family and community on an emotional journey. After Bruno, he did an episode on Touched by an Angel, Titan AE, ER, and he also did a video game for Nicktoons Racing. In 2000, he also got to act alongside Ben Affleck and Gwyneth Paltrow in Bounce. And in 2001, Alex was offered a role in The Jenny Project to play Andrew. The movie was based off the book Jenny by Douglas Preston. It told the story of a chimpanzee who had the ability to use and understand sign language. Shortly after, Alex was offered his second lead role. He played in the comedy movie Max Keeble's Big Move as Max. Even though the film was regarded as one of the best kid movies in 2001, it underperformed at the box office. Nevertheless, the young actor's career wasn't hurt at all. Right after that, he starred in the movie Race to Space, a family drama which takes place in the early 1960s. 
Thanks to his Jewish background, it helped him land a role in the 2003 Hanukkah-themed Disney film, Full Court Miracle. In it, Lynn starred as the star of a Jewish school's basketball team. It follows a group of basketball players who search for a coach to help them improve their skills. He also played the role of Pete in 19 episodes of a TV series named Providence. Alex scored more roles in other projects like the TV show Crossballs the Debate Show and Jack and Bobby. 2007 was his final year in the industry. He played a busboy in Order Up and he also played Owen Norris in the film Choose Connor, where he became a youth spokesman for a U.S. Senate candidate only to be exploited in a fierce campaign. A year later, Alex decided to take a break from acting to live a more normal life. He enrolled in the University of California, Berkeley, graduating in 2011 with a BA degree in science, technology, and society. After graduation, he interned while getting associated with the Oakland-based educational summer camp, where he served as a lead science instructor. He went back to school attending UCLA to achieve a master's degree in urban and regional planning in 2017. He is now a planning assistant for the city of Los Angeles, living his best life. Well, that's a wrap for the story of Alex D. Lins. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Now don't forget to let me know down below, who do you love? Who do you love? Who do you love?